Hello again. It's Friday, June 28th, 2019. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. It's the end of an era for Allegheny County Schools. As 18-year veteran educator and current director of instruction, Mary Jane Mutaspa said goodbye to the school division upon her retirement on Thursday. Watch. You're not done with education, are you? Uh, no, not completely done with education. Um, I will be working with the Department of Education uh, doing something that they call OP, um, outsource provider uh, for schools that are in improvement, going in, helping them conduct academic audits um, and develop school improvement plans. On Wednesday afternoon, Covington resident Shannon Overton was leaving work at Amerigas and Iron Gate on her way to another job when a big stone came across the road from a rock formation across Route 220 in the Iron Gate Gap. She just purchased a 2012 BMW 535i and the impact caused much of its oil to spill out. She wasn't injured, but she was shaken up. Full details of her story are now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. In May, Covington High School graduate Cody Fisher won the Zimmerman Award for making a difference in his community. In a Journal TV interview earlier this morning, he's heading up yet another community effort for blood donations on Saturday. Watch. Would be a good response. What do you think? Um, if I receive more than 25 donors, I can um, get a chance to receive a scholarship, but that doesn't, no offense, that doesn't matter to me. As long as people donate blood and help save lives, because one donation can help save three lives. The town of Iron Gate has attempted to get the 7th Street residents an outside area of town council member Donnie Hall cleaned up for about two years. But after a court order issued last summer continued to be ignored, and a council motion imposing a May 31st deadline was ignored, a contractor with a rollback showed up and several of Hall's junk cars were removed from both sides of the street across from his residence on June 1st. Mr. Hall was not happy about that. Watch. $15,000 if I want the stuff back. I got a letter from you stating not to bring the stuff back. I went up there to pay the tow bill they didn't even have the bill ready. I've lost a lot of personal uh, property. They went up on uh, and got the Jeep off my property, and the Israel was on my property. They took the two-wheel dolly that belongs to me with a vehicle. Why didn't you tell me they was gonna pick up? I talked to you in the hallway. You can nitpick and you can play all you want. It's not gonna be any good, Donnie. We were within the right to do what we did. I'm not going to discuss it. I'm not going to argue with it. And, we'll it. Ask you this and we'll be right back. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Peggy Redmond, 55 of Covington, died on Wednesday. Mary Clark, 90 of Lexington, died on Wednesday. 
Kevin Harrison, 54 of Selma, died on Thursday. Odell Watts, 83 of Lomore, died on Thursday. And Leon Chetto, 72 of Rock Ridge Bass, died on Monday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be partly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms, high of 89 and a low of 71. And on Sunday, partly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 89 and a low of 70. And on Monday, partly cloudy, high of 88 and a low of 69 degrees. And that's the way it is on Friday, June 28, 2019. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.